If you're a short film maker or on a YouTube channel and love shooting outdoors with your DSLR or just want to learn a thing or two about gimbals and stabilization, well, you've come to the right place. In today's video, we are going to take a close look at the Zion Crane, a 3-axis stabilizer gimbal for mirrorless cameras and some DSLRs. Hey, this is Sundar from C4E Tech. Let's get started. The crane's strong and rugged build quality is something I could notice as soon as I held it in my hand, thanks to the CNC aluminium alloy construction. It weighs 950 grams, which is actually quite light for a gimbal that mounts mirrorless cameras. Talking about weight, this gimbal can mount cameras that weigh up to 1800 grams. The one I have here is the Sony A6300, but the list of compatible devices include even DSLRs like the ever-popular Canon 5D. The balance might vary though, depending on the weight of the camera and the lens used with it. This can be fixed by tweaking the two adjustable arms. It might take a while to find the perfect balance, but once you're done, you don't have to disturb it again unless you decide to use a different lens or a different camera. With the camera mounted, it does feel quite heavy, but single-handed usage is still manageable because it offers a good grip. The controllers are well within reach. Speaking of which, the joystick can be found to the front and the zoom slider and the power button can be found to the right. For the zoom functionality to work, you need to connect the gimbal to your camera with a cable and that's sold separately depending on your camera model. All that said, how does the crane perform with regards to stabilization? I mean, that's what it's primary meant for, right? Well, have a look at it yourself. Amazing, right? The gimbal's in my hand, by the way. No tripods being used here. Here's a comparison worth watching. The crane uses FOC technology with triple 32-bit microcontrollers along with high payload brushless motors with integrated encoders. Now, what does all that mean? Well, it means it allows for movements in all three axes, in whatever speed we want. Now, how can we set the speed? Well, that brings us to the Zune Assistant app. It's available on both iOS and Android. Once you've paired the devices in settings, you need to open the app and connect the device to the gimbal. Once the connection is established, go to settings. Here's where you can customize everything from control rate to the degree of smoothness. I have the speed set very low to get super slow pan shots like this. The app also has this interface that you can use to control the gimbal from your smartphone remotely. This comes in handy when you've mounted the gimbal on a tripod. How do you mount it? There's a quarter inch thread to the bottom of the gimbal. Now, if you actually have a dedicated person handling the camera, then this two-handed grip does come in handy. It's a little disappointing that it's sold separately while competitors do include it with the package. Anyway, it makes for better grip and stability for an operator to handle the camera. The crane comes with two 18650 batteries and offers a battery life of up to six hours. Zune even provides a couple of extra 18650 batteries. That said, if you wanna use this for longer sessions and hate switching batteries, the crane also offers compatibility with 26650 batteries. Two of them could power the gimbal for up to 12 hours. They aren't included in the box though, so you need to buy them yourself. Now before we talk price, there's something you need to know. The crane has been discontinued and replaced with the Crane V2. There aren't many differences between the two. The new crane supports tripods with 3x8 inch screw, has all the controls to the front panel, comes with a quick release plate and 26500 batteries that offer a 12 hour battery life. 18650s are not compatible. The Crane V2 costs $649 or about 40,000 rupees in the US. And if you're someone who wants the stabilization for your DSLR or mirrorless camera, it might just be something worth considering. So that's it for my take on this Yoon Crane. Would you get one of these? Let us know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to C4E Tech for more. Do this to make sure you get notified each time a video goes live on the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Sundar from C4E Tech, leaving for the moment. Have a nice day.